Hey everyone, today's video is about when he sees you bleeding. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. You found yourself in the midst of a war zone, surrounded by rocks of a recent battle. The air is thick with smoke, and you can barely see through the haze. Your heart races in your chest, and you struggle to catch your breath. You're bleeding heavily from a deep wound on your arm, and you know that it's serious. Your body feels weak and shaky, but you try to keep moving, desperately searching for any of your allies. You call out for Bakugo. Suddenly, his voice breaks through the chaos, and you turn to see him charging towards you. His fierce determination apparent in his eyes. Relieved to see him, you hold out your wounded arm, hoping you can help. Bakugo stops beside you, his gaze immediately drawn to your injury. Shit, we need to get you out of here, now. He curses, concern evident in his voice. He pulls you close, wrapping his arms around you. As he lifts you up and starts running, you cling to him tightly, feeling the pain of your injury, mystifying with each step. Bakugo doesn't slow down, though. He's focused solely on getting you to safety. As he carries you to a secure area, the pain worsens, and you feel yourself growing weaker by the second. You can feel the blood seeping out of the wound, and you know that Bakugo is carrying you as quickly as he can. Your head spins and he can barely keep your eyes open. When you finally reach safety, Bakugo sets you down quickly, and he begins sending to your wound. He works quickly and efficiently, his skilled hands moving with pressure. However, you can see that his hands are shaking slightly as he works. You watch as he carefully removes your torn clothes and cleans the wound. The concern etched on his face. And he knew that he was worried about you. You want to assure him that you'll be okay, but the pain makes it difficult for you to speak. Tears stream down your face. As the pain intensifies, and you whisper, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been so reckless. Bakugo's expression softened as he looks up at you. His eyes filled with love and concern. Don't be sorry, he says, his voice hoarse. It's not your fault. You're going to be okay. I promise. Despite his words, you can still see the worry etched on his face. The wound is deep, and the bleeding doesn't seem to be stopping. You're starting to feel lightheaded, and you know that you're losing too much blood. As Bakugo continues to work, you feel your strength fading. You know that you might not make it, and the thought of leaving him behind fills you with despair. You've been through so much together, and the idea of it all ending like this is unbearable. Bakugo, I love you. Don't forget that. You whispered, your voice barely audible. Bakugo's eyes filled with tears as he looks up at you, his hands shaking. I love you too, he says, his voice chalked with emotion. Please, don't leave me. I can't do this without you. You can see the fear in his eyes, and it breaks your heart. You really want to stay with him, to fight for your life. But your body feels so heavy. And you know that it's too late. You closed your eyes, taking a deep breath, and letting it out slowly. You feel at peace, knowing that Bakugo will carry on your legacy, and that your love for each other will always be remembered. As you slip away, you hear Bakugo's anguished cries, and you wish you could comfort him. But your body's no longer yours to control, and your mind begins to fade. In the distance, you hear the sound of a horn, signaling the approach of allies. 
you know that Bakugo will be safe now, and the thought brings you a small measure of comfort. With your last bit of strength, you open your eyes and look at Bakugo, wanting to etch his face into your memory forever. He looks so vulnerable and broken, and it hurts to know that you won't be there to help him pick up the pieces. But you trust that he'll find a way to move on without you, to keep fighting for what you both believed in. You hope that he'll remember the love that you both shared, and that it will give him the strength to keep going, even when things seem impossible. As the darkness closes in, you whisper one final message to Bakugo. I'll always be here with you, in your heart. And then, everything fades to black, and you're gone. Bakugo's world shatters as he watches you slip away in front of his eyes. He feels like he's drowning. The weight of his grief and loss, threatening to consume him. His hands shake uncontrollably, and tears stream down his face as he clings to you, desperate to keep you with him. He doesn't know how long he sits there, holding your lifeless body, but eventually, he knows he has to let you go. He carefully lays you down, his hands trembling as he brushes your hair back from your face. He can't bear to look at you, to see the stillness of death in your eyes. Bakugo feels like his heart had been ripped out of his chest. He's lost the love of his life, his partner, his best friend, and he doesn't know how to go on without you. The weight of the grave is crushing, and he feels like he can't breathe. He knows he has to be strong, for you, for himself, for everyone else. He stands up, his fists clenched tightly, as he looks around, trying to focus on something, anything to distract himself from the pain. But wherever he looks, he sees reminders of you, the battlefield, the scars on his body, the memories of your shared expressions. It feels so raw, so fresh, and he knows that he'll never be able to forget. He knows that he'll never find another love like you, and the thought of that terrifies him. He can't just imagine a future without you, without your laugh, your smile, your touch. But he knows he has to keep going, even though the past ahead seems so dark. As he stands there, lost in his grief, Bakugo hears a faint whisper in his mind. Your voice telling him that you love him. It gives him a glimmer of hope, a tiny spark of light in the darkness. He knows that to always carry your memory with him, and that thought gives him the strength to keep going. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.